part of our strategy, part of our ethos in my research group is that actually real world is our laboratory. The real life structures are our prototypes. Chefin has an excellent spirit of collaboration. We can help and we want to work with industry at different levels. We can do research for them, but most of the time will be to transfer know-how or technologies. It's about partnership, understanding problems deeply from the inside and then doing everything we can to offer our very many resources to solve those. We'd expect that to inform our own research too. It's actually joint goals. It is in fact a partnership of ideas and enthusiasm and capability. So the value is being together and being bigger together actually, as partners in industry, partners in commerce and partners in other parts of education. I think that's the deal, is to do it together and be bigger together. The next 50 years are going to be quite difficult for humanity. We're seeing a lot of big transitions. We're having a demographic transition. The population is increasing, but then levelling off and in developed countries, so we can have a very ageing population. We've got pressure on resources. We've depended so far on having access to very cheap, abundant energy. We know that's uh, not going to carry on. So there are really pressing needs that technology has to deliver on. But on the other hand, they're great opportunities. So the trick is really matching how we develop those technologies with what people need. I think we have strengths across the disciplines, but I think it's more than that. I think we're particularly good at working between the disciplines. In the structural terms, we've got a number of areas of cross-cutting themes, things like energy and the environment, the digital world, healthcare across the disciplines. We have teams of people who are able to support academics in working with industry. But I think it's more general than that. I think it's a culture that really isn't afraid of working across those disciplines. In our university, the huge majority of projects take knowledge from one area and apply it to problems from another domain. It is at the very heart of being able to apply university research to industry. All research innovation that needs to happen in this faculty actually needs to happen within these buildings here, which is actually seven departments working together non-stop. And this quadrangle is actually very, very unique. It's very unique in, in the UK, it's very unique in Europe, simply because all nine technology readiness levels can be actually done here within this quadrangle. From level one, which is basic, you know, fundamental research, let's say at molecular level, to level nine, which is ready for production. And there is no other place like that. We often say as academics that problems are multidisciplinary and solutions come from combining different disciplines in novel ways. One of the important things about a broad university like the University of Sheffield is we have a great number of pools of talent to draw on to solve a problem like environmental protection of water, environmental protection of soil. You just don't see those barriers to interdisciplinary research in Sheffield. And I wouldn't say it's in the water, I'd have said it's actually in the culture of the city and the university is very keen to show that culture. Healthcare is not just medical, it's social, it's engineering to deliver the solutions, it's the science which underpins all of medicine. You need people with different knowledge sets and different backgrounds to come together and to talk about the problem, to discuss the problem from their own aspects. If you want to talk about protecting soil, creating clean water, that problem is enormous. It's a planetary scale and it spans across many disciplines. I can't tackle that alone as an environmental engineer. The big challenges for the digital world are not necessarily technical anymore. Most of them will be in putting together the social aspect of the digital world. So what is the impact on the people? Uh, what is the technical aspect? What is the impact on the society? Project Sunshine collects a whole bunch of different research areas. Solar physics, photovoltaics, photosynthesis, plant physiology, ecology, and brings them all together to synthesize a bigger research project from all the detail, to put it in the context of the world in which we live, to answer big research problems. We can actually do research, which is on a minute nanoscale, and we can actually also do research on such a large scale, which is actually measuring what Mother Earth does. We can measure first mode of vibration of Mother Earth. 
the whole Earth moves every seven seconds up and down, two microns, plus minus two microns, and we have facilities in this laboratory to actually do that kind of measurement. This laboratory is fully portable laboratory. It can be taken literally in half a day anywhere in the world. We can do fundamental research in this laboratory, really getting into fine details, and then we can go out, link with industry, link with partners, and actually do some real-life, full-scale testing work. The whole society, the whole city, the whole world we, we live in is actually permeated by the, by the digital technology. So you see behind me, I think there are at least four CCTV cameras. This is just a corner. What can you do with all this data that is produced by all these people? Uh, at the moment, they are not stored. They are just thrown away. What if you could use them to, to improve the, everyone's life? Something we're very excited about at the moment is this area of assistive living, the ways that we can use technology to help people live more independently. It's very easy to get a computer to talk, it's much more difficult to get a computer to listen and understand. Assisted living technologies help uh, monitor people who have normal conditions, but they are, maybe they are frail, to live in their houses. Things like uh, monitoring their blood pressure, monitoring their generally health parameters is extremely important. Sheffield has a very long tradition of collaboration with the industry. We are one of the few universities who can really claim to have lots of strong collaboration, strong partnership. So we try to create a community that discusses together. And then from the community, we get research, we get creativity. We have companies who are engaged at, at very high-end research levels through to offering to give lectures to undergraduates. And, and I think that, that working with people who are not from industries that are well tuned into working with universities is, is a major drive in Sheffield and I think we see dividends already in terms of the range, the scope of the companies. What they all have in common is this idea of this two-way engagement that we're really going to learn from the company and I hope really understand a lot more about what the nature of the problems that people have in the world and how we can steer our own research in order to try and solve those. The biggest agrochemicals company is Syngenta. We work with Syngenta at various levels and we will use that research to bring forward together a more environmentally friendly agricultural system. And if you look at the announcement of the new Technology Innovation Centre for high value manufacturing that we lead as a university, that's as it were acknowledging we have the power, the intellectual power, but we also have the traditions of manufacturing and we also have the links with industry. So if you look at the way we work with say Rolls-Royce or Boeing or work with uh, Siemens, it's actually taking a slightly longer term view of what are going to be important issues, what are going to be important concepts they're needing and develop them together. They're the ways that work better. Now I hope that Sheffield will continue to be a very fine university for the quality of its academic research, but I'd like it to be much more than that. I'd like it to be really well known for the way that that research engages with people, engages with people's needs, engages with industry, engages with all the other public bodies that are important in actually translating what we do at the university into things that make a difference. What I hope we can do at Sheffield is show that we can do research that's really fundamentally uh, important you know, academically very challenging, but which also does impact on people's lives, does really change the world for the better.